So this was the most challenging uh, presentation uh, on uh, therapy novel approaches and not in PFC mutated uh, MDS or AML. Uh, so I, this is like a highest unmet need in uh, malignant hematology right now because with the standard chemotherapy or with hypermethylene agents, uh, the median survival is only about uh, six to seven months, uh, regardless of the regimen, high dose, low intensity. Um, so all of them work the same. So I showed a few new things that we think could be promising. Uh, the first approach is actually using our institutional um, different schedule of decidabine called metronomic administration, which is weekly, uh, very low dose, one-tenth of the regular dose of decidabine given subcutaneously, combined with the uh, therapeutic dose of another clock. So again, both drugs are given the same day, uh, but only once a week. So because uh, for PC mutated disease, I think chemotherapy just still lacks its flow due to chemo resistance. Uh, but this approach, in fact, uh, uh, results in a survival around age uh, around 10 to 11 months, uh, which is. Uh, has been reproducible right now in 24 patients, so we're continuing enrollment. Obviously, it's not curable, but it's a, a better backbone than the standard chemotherapy. Um, then I reviewed some things that are coming out, not yet, and perhaps in clinical trial. Uh, there was abstract from uh, this ash from uh, Dr. Shruti Bud's lab um, that showed that the resistance of this uh, uh, patients is due to high expression of inhibitor of apoptosis proteins uh, called surviving. Uh, and that's why the tumors are unable to mount the uh, um, cell death. So if she, in preclinical models, inhibiting this uh, pathway led to the sensitization to the or chemotherapy. Again, this is preclinical work, but it looks promising. Um, I also reviewed the efforts to reactivate the mutant P53 and make it work like wild type. Um, so one agent that we have had going through uh, all the way through phase three, APR246, unfortunately failed to uh, meet primary endpoint and the pivotal phase three studies. Uh, but right now, there are two other drugs that are being tested. The first one is, in fact, arsenic trioxide that's been used for acute promotion leukemia. It works in a subset of mutations, not in all across the board. However, uh, the clinical trials are going in China. And the second is a new one that works for only one mutation, Y220C. Um, it's uh, again reactivated that binds to that mutation and makes the mutant protein binding to the DNA and induce transcription. And so finally, I talked about immune therapies and the fact that the T cells uh, are deficient and that there's uh, work here presented by Michael Andreas group that T cells also carry mutations and therefore they're exhausted. So there's a huge um, suppressed microenvironment, uh, which is perhaps why the immune therapies has not really worked for the subset. But again, the preclinical studies for one mutation have identified the peptide HLA2 complex that was presented on the cell surface and making the bispecific antibodies against that led to the activation of T cells and the uh, clearance of tumors. Um, so I think some of these new approaches are needed uh, for PC mutated disease, which is still remains uh, such a huge challenge therapeutically. Um, and we all should be thinking of putting patients on clinical trials to find out what's next steps.